Okay. The label was just on. This is a recording. The labels are off during the mission. This is uh, tier one. I was a tier lead here. I have tier two with me. Tier three is a little below. G14 cannot get any closer to this Tempest to properly ID him, but I do ID him as a Tempest and have tier two go ahead and run the attack. And we do a 2v1 here on this Tempest. That's tier two right there. That was a 30 millimeter that just apparently didn't do anything to the tail. Basically, I'm keeping myself here in an observing position where I can uh, shoot at anybody that tier 2 gets on their 6, or I can come in if tier 2 goes off and make an attack pass and keep the Tempest on defense. If their tier 2 manages to blow half the left wing off the Tempest, and it's going straight down. There on the left, that's a higher up Tempest. This Tempest has come in and is attacking me. Right there. I fight to keep myself in the neutral, coordinating with tier two, so we can do a 2v1 on him also. Get my gun sight up. He goes defensive in the cloud. Uh, tier two is above, I'm below, so we're still looking for him. He actually goes above, tier 2 picks him up. It takes me a little while to find them. As the Tempest is actually off to my right here. As it be heading east, that's cold down there by 9 o'clock. Most of the action is going to be over cold, southwest of cold, southeast of cold. So here I'm radioing to my wingman that I'm going north going through the clouds. And I'm looking for him. I'll put the labels on. Checking my six. That was a 109. That Tempest right there in the corner, I don't think I saw it. I do remember seeing that 109 down below. That Tempest there under my nose, I didn't see. It's a track IR failure. That Tempest, I do see. So I go into a defensive posture with this one. I finally, I see that 109 there, he pops the flare, that's Panzer, tier two, confirming his flare, so I know it's him. He tells me the Tempest is ahead of him, I see him, I go defensive, I skunk the shot. And I'm gonna try to maneuver him to favor Panzer to get on a six, which is exactly what happens here. He goes into a scissor with me, which I am about to lose. I'm a little new to the G14, so I'm kind of struggling with it. So not very good there. The next pass is bad. I have to dodge away from the shot. Barely get off. Diving to the right here. There. Barely dodge. So now I'm defensive. And tier 2 is on the offense. Here you can't see, but tier 3 is clearing my 6. another Tempest. Here I purposely avoid the closer rate in the circle of the Tempest. He dives. We both still see him. We reacquire him. And we're both after him. I'm trailing. You know, I don't know where Panzer I know Panzer's faster than me. There's his face. 
The tier two is call sign Panzer, tier three is Reggie. There he is moving in. I'm in combat power because I had to conserve my emergency power. But I'm close enough to stay with him. And we've gone into the vertical through the clouds. Come back over. And here I'm looking for him. That is not our target. So I'm not after him. Go back to combat power. That's where they are, but I can't see them. I got the label there. I know they're under the cloud. Just radioed in. That is tier three. We're doing a uh, thatch weave to a tempest as diving down right on us. That's actually after me. Tier three does a good job of making sure that tempest doesn't have a clear shot on me. There I have a positive ID on the two. Check my six. Radio calls of some activity down there in the city. Took a quick glance, didn't see anything. Now I'm in position to help Panzer out. That Tempest is scissoring, going low on energy, so we're all closed in and take a shot. I got a glancing hit. Cross with Panzer. And he's going down. The Tempest is finally streaming from getting hit maybe three times already. Some high G's. Trying to keep my distance and separation away from Panzer, let him stay in. I'm fully idle here. And the off angle shot, those were misses. That's a hit. Here we're radioing in, in and off, so we're coordinating. Those are more hits. This is being the final moments of this Tempest. Does do a barrel roll to avoid. He's still on. He's not going that fast. Panzer takes a shot. He's off. I'm in. Hits. These are the last hits set. Tempest is on fire. And he's going to go in. So I'm just going to switch over here and just do it just for fun of you on the Tempest. There's my airplane shooting. Go to the Tempest. On fire. Taking lots of hits, but it's completely intact other than being on fire. And the pilot's going to go unconscious here from the impacts. There's the last impacts. Pilot unconscious right there. So the plane's going in. Pilot unconscious. Has a very lucky impact. Pilot's still unconscious. Plane on fire. See what happens here, and there's a disconnect. Back to me, and here I'm calling a regrouping of tier two and three. Let's see if I can pan the camera around to find them. That's three. There's two. Go back in the cockpit. Get to the, an actual proper view. There we go. So I call a 090 egress here, group up. I want us to get east of the, of the river. They're over there. I come back to them, they come back towards me. Basically, we're doing a shackle here. Not a very good one, but it worked out. We're turning back to the northeast. And Panzer and Reggie are heading that way. That activity up front, I don't see it, but Panzer sees it. That's a friendly 109 with a Tempest. Panzer's calling that Tempest. I want us to regroup before we engage. He says he's got close eye on it, so finally tell him okay to engage, and I'm gonna go in and cover him. Turn the labels back on. That's friendly flak going up against the Tempest. 
There's Reggie back on high cover. There's the Tempest and the other 109, which is Sure Shot. They just crossed. Sure Shot's been fighting this guy for five minutes on the defensive here. Looking to confirm Panzer. He calls, he's overshot and on the defensive. So we're going in right there. There he is. We're moving in to try to get this Tempest off at six. So there's the Tempest. There's sure Shot taking some shots at him. I know I can't get the shot, but I'm making this turn to get him here. I go for a shot. Even if not, I want him to see me shooting at him. He breaks left. Squadron leader's coming in from his high 10. Right there. Takes the shots. He's hit, and he's going down. And he's hit. So that's the squadron leader, Carl's kill. And here's a, a staff of command to do a regroup on a north vector. I've got sure shot by radio forming up on me. Tier 2 and Tier 3 are forming together a little bit more to my west. There's a lone Tempest that decided not to fight all of us, but he gets chased by two other friendlies. And this is basically formation flying here. Uh, this becomes uneventful to the end of the mission. Basically uh, scanning, reforming, gaining altitude, making sure our sixes are clear. Everybody's clear. We're doing a sit rep. Uh, people are communicating their ammo count, fuel, states, if they're damaged or not. And that's pretty much it until the end and back to landing. So I'll just go ahead and uh, stop the video here in a little bit. Just a little more photogenic moment. Turn the labels off. There's sure shot forming up on me here on the turn. We have an operational procedures that we use as a squadron to always pair up with someone even if you don't know who they are. Find out who they are when you get closer, work together, get on comps together. So we reform the Rates, the Swarms, the Stockholm. Oh, it's much more effective if you can do a 2 versus 1 or 4 versus 2. Uh, this is a G14 against Tempest, is completely outmatched in every single performance figure. So it's very important to make sure you're. Good I'm going to switch over to his point of view. It's my plane in the background. A little speed adjustment there for the format. Still an optimal climb speed, but a reduced power to restore the energy. This simulator box IL-2 Stormovic uh, has an odd way of running the uh, the power settings and the limitations, but you have to work with it. And signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video.